to play than uh, Puyo Puyo Tetris. It's like I, I've spent a lot of time shitting on Tetris Effect, not but like I've grown to like it as a game. Oh, they got the, the pseudo 3D yeah. on the block. And I, li I guess one of the things I like the most, I don't know like if you're aware of this, is the music of this game is amazing, in my opinion. It's like more, it's like a trippier version of what you're normally hearing. Like, you know, combined with the visuals and the, what you call it? VR, it has VR. So yeah, like you can play Tetris on VR with Tetris Effect, it's really cool. Was this the one advertised on the like PlayStation yes, VR yes, like Yes, it is. Like yes, it is. Back? Yes, it is. This is the same exact game, just with more updates. Because, you know, like, Enhance actually cares about this game and wants to make it better. Which I do, like, mad, mad props to Enhance, I love them. You know, I wish, I wish Puyo Puyo Tetris had the same amount of care that Enhance Especially on out. the online. And all right, <laughs> word, yeah, exactly, exactly. And there we go. <laughs> While we're talking about Tetris Effect, um, Dre has just secured a very quick win versus George. So this is a uh, first of three for anyone not aware of what's going on. I mean, I'm not aware either, but don't worry. All right. That makes two of us. Yeah, well, we'll pretend. Oh, but he got the perfect clear, I think. Yeah, so like what I, what I want is like what I want to show you. Oh, yeah, let's go. George. Oh, got him. Playtime, 13 seconds. Yeah, Yo, you saw no. what he did. He timed like he was looking at Dre's screen, waiting for him to stack higher and higher. Then he scored the perfect clear and immediately Dre topped out. That was some like dirty strats from George. The best offense is yeah, so defense. like okay immediately you'll notice something in here right like how these players are starting the game So you watch Puyo Puyo Tetris right the grand finals bracket and you saw how they started they Spammed a crap ton of T-spins when the game started right? Yes. Well in here because of the presence of the win button how that meter goes up is not via garbage set but via lines cleared on your end which so means yes, which means Tetris correct. Of, yes, yeah. absolutely correct. The, the most effective way to build up that win meter is so there's with something Tetris's. going on. Right yeah, now. so right now at the right side, George has pressed the the win button, and unfortunately, it was not strong enough to kill Dre. Normally, it would be strong enough to kill. Like at, let's say you clear 19 lines, it would send something because you know I can't tell the numbers because I don't play this game that much but yes it sends a crap ton of lines usually enough to kill you and what the hell are you doing Dre? It looks wow. like there's a timer to indicate yep, how there, much time. Mm -hmm. And as the game progresses that timer gets shorter and shorter. Ooh let's go 20. Ah uh, no 20. See 53 lines sent to our poor George and very soon enough he is going to get sent to the Shadow Realm unless he pushes the win button and opts to go for a counter attack. But right now, oh wow, good job. Fifty-three beats five. Yeah, fifty-three <laughs> beats five. I don't know. Well, do you, you know your numbers, right? Who do you think won? Honestly, this game series is confusing. Don't worry. And this could change like a rapid yep. speed like this. Another win button pushed by George, and yep, that is not enough. And Dre takes game number two, entering match point. Drops line zone for minute one. Yeah, they got like a lot of numbers, a lot of stats, you know, like if you're you know, if you're the type of person that whose member gets bigger by, you know, looking at bigger numbers, then you'd probably love something like this. You know? <laughs> stop it! Focus man man! Focus! Stop trying to laugh! <laughs> oh my god. Okay, we lost him. <laughs> we, we lost him. <laughs> I should have said that we lost him. Oh my god. Production down. <laughs> yeah, we were down. Man down, man down. Okay, um George again, um going for a quick you know, opting for a quick zone. Obviously like not fast enough, Dre's a faster player, but you know, let's see. Let's see what George can do. Because I don't think Dre Dre hasn't pushed, so like as I don't I'm bad at this game too. But what I've learned from good people giving me advice about this game is once you hit maximum zone meter, you want to push the win button as fast as you can. Obviously, you know, there's going to be exceptions to this, but that's the general rule I have learned based on people giving me advice. So he's going above the board right now. Yep, you can, you can legitimately hit over 20. So like the height of the board is 20, but because you can stack on top of it, you can go for something greater than 20. And that's like, ooh, and there we go. Dre with 
the That's win. Match, I yep, believe? match three to one. Dre versus George, and because this is a very, very small bracket, we're gonna try to speed things up along, and I'm gonna be playing next, so I'll, I will force you to stay here oh, George. and learn more about the game. I'll send someone, <laughs> I'll send someone that knows what they're doing. But, yep, yeah, thank you guys for being here for the TEC bracket. I'll be playing, so I gotta leave, alright? Have fun, Brandon. Good luck, have fun. Yeah, good luck, good luck, good luck, good luck with the commentating. Alright, and I'll see you guys later.